Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. In today's class we are going to study, centrifugal casting, which is one of the permanent mold casting processes. We are studying fundamentals of metal casting, and metals for casting. We will cover all related topics one by one. Before starting, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, just click on subscribe, and press the bell icon. Here, we come up with new videos on different subjects, to make the academic studies easier for you. So, into the topic. Centrifugal casting refers to several casting methods in which the mold is rotated at high speed so that centrifugal force distributes the molten metal to the outer regions of the die cavity. The group includes True centrifugal casting Semicentrifugal casting and Centrifuge casting In true centrifugal casting, Molten metal is poured into a rotating mold to produce a tubular part. Parts made by this process include pipes, tubes and rings. In some operations, mold rotation commences after pouring has occurred rather than beforehand. The high-speed rotation results in centrifugal forces that cause the metal to take the shape of the mold cavity. Thus, the outside shape of the casting can be round, octagonal, hexagonal, and so on. However, the inside shape of the casting is perfectly round, due to the radially symmetric forces at work. This figure shows a setup for true centrifugal casting, where the mold rotates about horizontal or vertical axis. Mostly the mold is rotated about horizontal axis and the molten metal introduced from an external source. The centrifugal force acts on the molten metal which forces it at the outer wall of mold. How fast must the mold be rotated for the process to work successfully? The centrifugal force is defined as F equals to M V square divided by R, where F represents force expressed in newtons. M represents mass expressed in kilograms. V represents velocity expressed in meters per second and R represents the inside radius of the mold expressed in meters. The force of gravity is its weight, W, equals to, mg, where, W is given in kg, and, g, represents acceleration of gravity, 9.8 meters per square second. The so-called g factor is the ratio of centrifugal force divided by weight. That is, gf, equals to, f, divided by w, equals to m, V square, divided by R, M, G, equals to, V square, divided by R, G. Velocity V can be expressed as 2, pi, R, N, divided by 60, equals to, pi, R, N, divided by 30, where the constant 60 converts seconds to minutes, so that N, represents rotational speed, in revolutions per minute. Substituting into the above equation, we obtain, gf equals to pi n divided by 30 whole square into r divided by g again rearranging this to solve for rotational speed n and using diameter d rather than radius in the resulting equation n equals to 30 divided by pi into root over 2 g into gf divided by d where d represents the inside diameter of the mold, in meters. If the g-factor is too low in centrifugal casting, the liquid metal will not remain forced against the mold wall during the upper half of the circular path but will rain inside the cavity. On an empirical basis, values of gf, equal to 60 to 80 are found to be appropriate for horizontal centrifugal casting. So, we have studied centrifugal casting, which is one of the permanent mold casting processes. Thank you.